uh, we're in part two of our steering stem bearing removal, and now we're going to do it the hard way. Um, or, I, I don't know if I'd say the hard way, it's just a different way of doing it. We know there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat, right? Now, this is if you don't have any special tools like we showed in the other video. And once again, people are taking a long drift, and to get this top bearing out, or top race, I should say, we'd come through here, and we'd basically try and beat on this, and, and try and knock it out. The problem is, is that this welded ring right here is not allowing us to get very close to the edge of that bearing that we're trying to hit on. So we're trying to drive this here, catching just that little edge a little bit back and forth to get it out, and it's not very possible. So there's a couple different things we can do. First off, one thing that works really well is we fire up the welder, and we literally just weld a bead around this part of the race. We're not welding the race to anything, but we're just going to put a nice big fat bead around here and a lot of times that bearing will fall right out. Make sense? Now once I put that bead in there, I'm going to see if it will actually drive out, but just let me talk this through here. If, if I put the bead on there and it doesn't really give me much grip or whatnot, would you agree that that welded material at least is further in here and I might have a better chance of getting my punch on it? Does that make sense? So that's a nice little trick. And one of the things I like to do, you've already got the welder out, and what you do is you weld a bead on there. Another thing you can do is find, find an appropriate washer and weld a washer to the race. Did we just get a whole bunch of real estate to be able to punch that thing out now? Makes sense. So that's a couple different ways that you can do it as well. And we're going to see real quick here. We went ahead and we cleaned the... Uh, we went ahead and cleaned the bearing. Obviously, they had grease in there. We don't want to start a fire. Where's our fire extinguisher at? Right over here. You see it over there? Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to protect my work area. So I got a couple of rubber grommets from my tank. I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the way right now. And I have uh, this gauge, but that's my oil tank. I'm just going to be careful not to, uh, not to damage this. And what I might do, do I have anything that can cover that up, a piece of metal or something? Sure do. Give me that, dump that pan out. Look at that. Okay. And we've got our customer's gauge here. Normally this is stock plastic, so that should be good enough for me to protect this. So, Mitch, I don't know, uh, you guys probably don't need to see the weld happening, but fire up the welder. Give me my helmet and gloves. I'm going to... Gas yeah, should be on, should be ready to go. He's like ground. Oh, it's hard bending over and trying to do this for a demo here. I should have a good uh, area there. We'll see what happens just by putting a bead on it. <laughs> you guys are my eyes. If you see anything else that's a problem, make sure and let me know. Watch. Look at this. If that bearing were the small one, or excuse me, small one, if that were the bottom one, that would have simply just fallen right out as I was welding and I'd have to be careful being upside down. Does that make sense? Now, if you guys noticed, I'll grab it here. If you notice here, my washer selection I had was just plain too small, and you got to be able to think outside the box, right? I have a welder. I've got plenty of wire in there. Couldn't I just keep putting beads on there until it got small enough where the washer would just sit in place, and then I could weld the washer on there? That's a way to think through. I mean, sometimes you're just trying to do what you got to do to get the job done so that you can move on. Does that make sense? So, guys, uh, all our YouTube people out there, that's a quick way, a uh, couple different ways of how to remove the steering stem bearings.